All right, guys, welcome back to Enjoy Northwoods. Today, we got a special treat, literally. Uh, just recently won a contest from Adventure Time Prospecting out of West Virginia and uh, received my package. And it's supposed to have a nice nugget, some gold, uh, some gemstones, fossils. Not sure what to expect, but uh, can't be more excited to open this baby up and see what we got. So uh, stay tuned and let's get at her. I sure am. It's been brutal the last couple days. Uh, I can't shake this box anymore. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. There we go. Um, like I said, they had uh, Adventure Time Prospecting, awesome channel. Had a contest uh, for a thousand subscriber, and it was just a random drawing um, on a comment question or on a comment response. So. Uh, I happen to win it, and uh, if you guys haven't checked that channel out, you really got to go to it. Uh, very informational, entertaining. Uh, he plays a mean sluice box. So, anyways, give her a try, and uh, I know you guys will love it. Out of West Virginia, uh, he finds lots of nice flower gold. Uh, scenery is beautiful there. So, anyways. I uh, can't thank him enough, uh, James Shepard from Adventure Time Prospecting out of West Virginia. Love your channel, buddy, and uh, thanks again for the package. So anyway, here we go. We got her uh, sealed up pretty good. Christmas. Like freaking Christmas. All right. Let's, here's the note. Congratulations. You've won the Adventure Time Prospecting 1,000 subscriber pay dirt giveaway. Look for gold. Look for gold, rough rubies, sapphires, and emeralds too. Thank you for helping make my channel possible. James Shepard, Adventure Time Prospecting, Heavy Pans. Well, thanks a lot, James. Um, looking forward to this. Never dealt with any uh, rough ruby sapphires, uh, sapphires or emeralds. <clears throat> uh, hope I can uh, identify all this. This is all somewhat new to me. Um, so I got a little rougher time identifying this, so we'll uh, give her a try. Uh, that's quite a bit of dirt. Let's see what she looks like. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right. Feel big heavies in here. Um, very sandy, a little bit lighter. Oh, there's some darks in here. 
just like looking at the different soil types. Man, I hope I know what all this stuff is. <laughs> I hope I do you proud there, buddy. We're gonna give her a try. Tracks, fur, I can tell you all about it, but uh, this geology stuff, I'm just getting, just getting into it. Um, I think we're gonna do first is, uh, we are gonna uh, do a little dry classifying, get some of these big heavies and these stones out. So bear with me for a minute. All right. Let's run some of this through. We got a, like a quarter incher. and dry. Oh gosh. Petrified wood. Man. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Whoa. <laughs> Bingo. We got the prize. pretty heavy too. I think he said he weighed it, it was like 1.8. Almost a two grammer nugget. Very neat. Awesome. We'll get some close-ups of this. So anyways, I'm going to go through here and pick out the obvious, I guess. Lots of quartz. I'm going to take a bunch of these, like this one. I'm going to take a bunch of these rocks and run them through the tumbler. Never been to West Virginia. Oh, we got we got some little bit of gold in here. Never been to West Virginia, but every every state I go or Providence or wherever I end up, I'm always bringing back rocks. I've been collecting rocks pretty much my whole life, but I don't know that much about them. I just, I collect them because they're interesting or pretty or something about them. Right, let's see what we get here. But we do got a couple pieces of some flour. I think we got most of this out. And I'm not gonna discard anything. I'm gonna go through this. I'll go through it a couple times, but I would like to get a hold of James just so I'm not missing any of these rocks or gems or anything like that okay so there's that then let's go through the little bit coarser stuff but i'm going to go through a little bit at a time just because i suck at painting and I left my sexy specs in the barn, so 
Got some extra reading glasses that I'm making do with. Too lazy to walk out there, I guess. But anyway. Let's do a little scoop. Oop, I see a little flake. <laughs> Now we said West Virginia uh, had mainly flower gold there too. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy cow. I would actually love to see this in the river doing some test pans. And here's a couple nice flakes. Look at them big things. Wow. I could probably pick all of them up. You definitely can feel them. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, first little scoop. Highly impressive. Highly impressive. I did miss one little piece. fresh water in there. Wish you could see it, but this I can just see gold plates all over this stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd probably be a professional if my gold was this big as far as painting goes. I'm getting used to just trying to get them absolute little tiny pieces. Wow. Come on, man. This is crazy. Holy cow. Well, you made my day. You brought a big smile to my pan. That's so awesome. Oh my God. Ooh, one's a little bit different colored gold, a little rosier. I wonder if that's like that rose gold. And a nice size flake. Yeah. I might be a professional if the gold was big enough. This ain't as bad as... God bless you, sir. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't even know if I can snuffer these things. Never get this in my wife's necklace, that's for dang sure. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. I'm sure glad I, I won this. I got to experience this. Ooh. 
You can see a nice size little garnet. Where the heck did that go? It's a little garnet, but they keep collecting them things. <laughs> well, sir, it has been gold in every scoop. Man, I want to go somewhere where Here's a little piece of wire. Where I could find actual gold like this. Still had gold in every pan. Okay, we got one more little scoop out of these that came out of the quarter inch classifier. And then we got the fines. And that looks like it's got some sand, some black sands mixed in with that. A little bit more heavy. All right, we'll do a little stuff or dump and I'll show you what I got out of that. All right, that's what we got out of the the quarter inch strainer. Look at the size of them flakes. Just look at them. That is so awesome. All right, and here's the rocks that we got out of the bags. Mm, I believe this is a nice chunk of petrified wood that's crazy look at that how cool is that and a smaller piece of petrified wood this and it's got all kinds of like uh, glitter in it look at the hole through that awesome and we got these purple stones a bit. I don't know if you can see it but it's it's a purple but they they got like a metallic See that it's it's got this weird sheen to it. They're weird. Hopefully it's picking it up. But I 
haven't seen any rocks around here like this. But they all got like a weird purpley color, but it's got a weird sheen to it. Crazy. Not sure what it is. And then we got this piece. Which is, I think it's quartz. It's you can see the crystals. That's crazy. And then we got these little gems. Literally a little gem. This must be a ruby. You can see through it. Let's see how big it is. How cool that is. Him what this is. That is crazy. And then I guess this will be quartz, but look at how clear it is. Almost like a diamond. These are all pretty clear. This one's almost super clear. Here's the one that was like crystal clear. I don't know if that would be quartz or if that's... Look at that. Don't have that. I mean, here's like quartz, like we have around in Michigan. But I'm not sure. And look at this baby. That must be the emerald. Look how cool that is. Just all the different crystals in it. Wow. Crazy. And then here, I think, is all that quartz conglomerate or what, whatever it was called. But I could see, like, quartz in it. It's still hanging on. You can see, like, a chunk chunk wrapped in there anyways how awesome was that i hope i found everything um that's a crazy mixed bag of goodies but for the candy dun, dun, dun. <laughs> look at that we got about 50 or 60 little pieces of flour I got out of those smalls and the nugget. And look at the size of these flakes. You can feel every one of them. Pick them up. Look at that. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Wicked. You can hear them all. But look at that. Adventure Time Prospecting. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This was awesome, dude. Look at the nugs. Look at that nugget. 
Look at how beautiful that is. Anyways, I appreciate it, sir. I got a little package coming your way. Um, don't get too excited because it don't look nothing like this. But uh, anyways, what a what a great great time. Uh, was gonna go out doing a little prospecting uh, today, but. I don't know how I could come back and even compare to anything like this. God, that's crazy. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I'd just like to say thanks again to James from Adventure Time Prospecting. Man, that was fun. That thing was just packed full of all kinds of goodies. Uh, that nugget, crazy. All them pickers, uh, something way more than I'm going to get around here, so that was awesome. So anyways, thanks again, and until our next adventure, we'll see you guys around.